Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a few videos back, I decided to do a review of a budget priced entry level style digital modeling device. And to be honest, I was quite impressed with how good it sounded for the money. It was really, really good for what it was, uh, which got me to thinking I wanted to also test how good the analog budget market was. So I wanted to find a pedal that was relatively inexpensive analog and that would emulate the sound of a guitar amplifier, either running direct to a PA or straight into a mixing console to record as you'll here in this video. Okay, so the pedal I decided to go with is the Joyo or Joyo uh, American Sound Pedal, which emulates Fender amplifiers. It has a voice knob to let you go from like a blackface uh, Fender style amp to more of a tweed style Fender amp, which is pretty cool. And I also like the fact it's a knob, meaning there are degrees. It's not just a switch you flip. So you can kind of blend, which I think is a nice feature. Price-wise, this thing was 40 bucks. I mean, it's just amazing that you can get a, a guitar pedal for 40 bucks, let alone one that promises to emulate some really good sounding amplifiers. So we're going to put it through its paces and find out just how good it is and what you can get for your money these days in the analog world for $40. Um, also, while I was shopping on there, I went a little bit into impulse purchase territory, and I started looking at a lot of the mini pedals that were on there. And they, again, they're remarkably cheap. I found one that piqued my interest as the Dumbler, and anything with the word Dumble in it immediately catches my eye. I think it was $32 to $35. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those as well. After we put the American Sound Pedal through its paces, I want to see how it takes pedals and how it works if I stack that overdrive into it and potentially have a very inexpensive two-channel style setup uh, that would go a long way in starting to build on a very, very reasonably priced analog pedal board. So... If you like what you hear and if you are interested in either one of these pedals, if you look in the description below, you will see links to check them out on Amazon. These are affiliate links, so they do help out the channel. So if you are shopping for these pedals anyway, I'd appreciate it if you would use those. It'd help support what I'm doing. Also, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell notification. You know what to do. All that fun stuff. So that out of the way, let's hop over and take a look at the American Sound Pedal and See what you can really get for 40 bucks these days. Okay, so here we are with our $40 amp in a box pedal. And uh, let's see what we got. So as you can see, the settings um, essentially have the level all the way up. Um, I have the voice knob leaning more left, which is the blackface side. So what I'm doing is getting a little more of a cleanish tone, but bringing in some of that breakup where it's not just so super clean. And then the drive is, you know, probably about 10 o'clock or so. So it's a fairly clean sound. Um, let's see how it does. Basically, i um, running straight into my mixer. The only thing I'm doing in post is I'm adding a little bit of reverb in Ableton. Because if I was going to run a pedal board, I would definitely put some reverb on there. But other than that, that's it. No other effects, compressors, nothing. Just a little bit of reverb. So let's see what we get. Man, um, I'm liking that. <clears throat> Honestly, that's the best $40 sound I've ever heard, I believe. I like it's very dynamic. It feels good under the fingers. Um, when you dig in, it, it's, you know, we have a little on the black face side of things. So it's a little, you know, pretty punchy and, and it's not compressing too much, uh, which is, which is all right. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I could say, like, for funk and rhythm playing, like, it'd be really, really cool. I'm really, <laughs> this is kind of first impressions, but I'm genuinely quite impressed with this thing. Wow. All right, well, let's see what happens if we dial a little bit of drive in. I'm going to start with just using the drive control and then we'll look at, you know, modifying the uh, settings of the voice knob, seeing what that does. On the bridge 
pick up. Yeah, that sounds pretty pretty darn good. I, I'm I'm blown away to be honest. I was not I was not expecting an inexpensive pedal to sound this good. To be perfectly honest, wow. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens if we dial a little more of the voice knob towards the tweed side of things. found a sound i don't like yet let's keep going with the tweed setting um and see what we get obviously we're getting more gain as we're dialing onto the tweed side which i think is expected <laughs> So it's to me it's starting to feel kind of plexi ish, which makes sense because the early Marshalls were pretty much based on uh, tweed like basement designs. Let's uh, let's push a little more drive into the tweed side of things. <laughs> getting better i'm going to push it all all the way to the tweed side of the vo uh, voice knob see what we get. now we're getting more noise but it is animal. <laughs> Pretty darn good, in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is man, this is totally usable, absolutely usable. Um, you know, am I, you know, would I be spoiled from missing all of my conveniences of digital in terms of, uh, you know, parameter control and real time switching and all this? Yeah, of course, it's $40, though, man. I, I could plug this into a PA and, and have a fun show for 40 bucks, absolutely. Um, if you can't tell, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> all right. So now we've got a good bass line tone. Uh, I've dialed it back to, to cleanish. Uh, let's see what happens when we introduce the Dumbler. Uh, so we're going to basically use our American sound pedal as a pedal platform at this point. It's set up, you know, pretty clean. A little bit of break breakup, but not, not much at all. So let's turn on the Dumbler. Yeah, 
yeah, it sounds, um, honestly, to me, it sounds a lot like the pedal, the American sound pedal did when I had the game pushed up, uh, which is a good sign. It means it, it, it to my ears, like it's taking the pedal well. It's The pedal's kind of reproducing what I could get with the pedal turned up, meaning if I was going to use this on a pedal board, I could keep the American sound set fairly clean and use the Dumbler to get to where the overdrive setting would be, so I'm not having the twiddle knobs between uh, between songs and whatnot. So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's. I'm going to dial the uh, dial the game back to 12 noon. It's about halfway, and uh, let's see what happens when we pull. It. <laughs> There's the gain back all the way up. And then the gain at noon. Pull the gain further back. So if we dial the a little bit on the guitar to clean it up and see what kind of dynamic range we get. <laughs> do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put the game back up to about noon and then play around with the volume knob because it was fairly clean to begin with that time. Not, not the greatest volume knob test. So let's try this. Pretty good, pretty good uh, range of dynamics there. Just using the volume to control it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit in shock to be honest. I was not expecting to like it this much. I thought, yeah, it's going to sound all right, but I know I keep saying that, but it's what I feel. <laughs> feel like i'm noodling around because it sounds good and it's fun to play <laughs> so i'll put a stop to it there um man i i'm kind of uh at a loss of of what other adjectives to use to describe it i mean at this price point i have zero complaints um you know the only thing that i notice is you know if you're cranking the gain you're going to need uh some type of noise gate uh that's universal though. I mean, that's, that's any amplifier, any pedal, even digital. If you don't have a noise gate on, you're going to get noise, the more gain you introduce. So, um, man, uh, thumbs up, two thumbs up. <laughs> if you're, if you're wanting to build a pedal board on the cheap, want to keep it analog. Um, you know, I think these two pedals together were like 70 bucks ish, no more than that. So, uh, man, that's, that's a heck of a start to a, to a budget pedal board. Um, and like I said, you go on Amazon and they're all, all these pedals are all over the place. I'm going to actually put a link to a range of these style pedals in the description below. So please check them out. Um, you know, goodness, if you're looking to do something on the cheap, man, I think you'll be hard pressed to find better options than, than some of these really inexpensive amp and a pedal type, uh, type units. So my two cents anyway, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Wasn't expecting to like it this much. So 
there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, or if, if you use some pedals similar to this, let me know what your experience has been. Or if there's some other ones that are your favorites, let me know about that as well. I'm kind of intrigued now. Um, I don't need an analog pedal board, but I kind of want to build one now just for the fun of it. So we'll see what happens. But uh, as always, thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, we'll see you.